How's it going, choppers? Today, we're gonna to be on Twitter taking a look at some very juicy posts about Instacart. Instacart is a delivery service for groceries. It's pretty simple. You get a personal shopper, they shop your order, they deliver it. But whenever you guys look up Instacart on Twitter, you're greeted with a lot of customers hating on guy shoppers, and even this dude who thinks his shopper was an undercover operative. Anyways, let's just get started with this video. TF, you think I'm doing? Are you delusional? Ha ha. Customer, cancel order. Shopper, cancel order. I guess he's mocking him or taunting him. Back to the customer. Yep, gonna find a new shopper. You do not swear at me and come to my home. Back to the shopper. That's true. I'm actually sorry about that. That's not me, but cancel the order. Can't you do it, good sir? Please cancel the order. You're holding up. Instacart even replied. That's great. That chopper is going to be gone. All right, I need some headphones for this one. Yeah, this was an interesting post here. I think um, this dude, he seems like he's not okay. Instacart is such an undercover operative. This man is not my Instacart chopper, a lady named Rachel. Who the F is this man coming to my home? He has my address, question mark. And he comes to my address, question mark. Plus the USPS truck sitting out there attacking me. This man is an undercover agent. Oh, where's the girl? Where's the girl? Oh, my wife, she uh, she had me drop it off. She had to go home with my son. I just gotta grab your water and your soda. <laughs> the dude's raising his hands like he's disappointed that the girl wasn't there. There was a mail truck just sitting out there increasing the signal in the United States Postal Service. Did my dude just say the mail truck was increasing its signal? I don't understand. Zero four. So then he starts reading off his license plate number. And so the guy's gonna come back up. He confronts him. So your wife gave you my address, huh? Listen, man, just take your groceries. I don't want no problems. Okay. I don't know what you're doing in there. I don't know. It's not my <gasps> business. I'm I hear here. you. That's how it's supposed to be. I'm just here to give you a girl. That's how man. it's supposed to be. That's how it's supposed to be. Oh, he's going Karen mode. Karen mode initiated. All this undercover <laughs> sh bull <laughs> Don't get involved. You got right. <laughs> All right, seems like a nice shopper actually. What's going on is he might be using his wife's account to work. Maybe his account got deactivated, so he's probably using someone else's account. I'm not promoting that, but that's probably what's going on. I think this dude was a creep. He just wanted the girl. May have had like a cute profile picture or something. It got him a little excited. All right, so today we're gonna be looking at the generosity of Instacart. Your $0 referral bonus from Instacart. You earned a zero dollar referral bonus. Down here, get zero dollars when your friend places their first Instacart order. Your friend gets zero dollars. Am I reading that right? Oh, yep, zero dollars. This is a painful one. So my Instacart shopper messaged me to tell me the store didn't have an item I had ordered and sent me a picture to choose a replacement from with the product I asked for. He said they didn't have right in the photo. All right. That was a very long run on sentence, I'm sorry, but yeah. Yep, that's just awkward. All right, here's where the male hatred starts to come into play. This one I could sort of understand because as a guy, um, this is probably my least favorite aisle. I don't understand what's going on here, so please enjoy my very male Instacart chopper attempting to retrieve my requested tampons. Yeah, this is probably like my worst fear is having to do a replacement on something like this. So far, all my customers have selected a replacement that I could choose, which I am very thankful for because I have no idea what to get. But even if I'm clueless about it, if you guys choose a replacement, you guys should be good and it should stay relatively awkward free. I've never met one intelligent Instacart shopper like Ever. I'd take that as a compliment. Never using Instacart again. This is uh, what they got. I don't even know, like, is that enough for like your fingertips? Or is this supposed to be like for your eyeglasses? And I know exactly what probably happened is they ordered this. This is probably the size they ordered. It's just the picture was off on the app or something. Sometimes it's really hard to tell how big an item is until you have it in your hand. Uh, oh no, even this guy. As a man, I too hate getting male Instacart shoppers in the comments. Bro, dudes are the worst. I said I wanted fresh strawberries. Why did you replace them with frozen peas? Men should not be allowed to do Instacart. Bro, I know they have my NYX eyeliner pens. Don't play coy with me. This person says selecting makeup for Instacart should automatically kick it to a girl's account for picking up. All right, I will admit in the makeup aisle, I, I'm not the best, but I at least I always find where the item should be. If it's in stock, I will find it. It'll just take me absolutely forever. So yes, yeah, some women are probably gonna be better at doing this just because they buy that product more than me. This is just personal now. When my Instacart shopper pops up and I see that it's a guy, 
Where did it all go so wrong? This is really funny to me because I know plenty of guy shoppers that are really good. They know the store inside and out. And I also know plenty of great women shoppers. I guess us guys need to step it up a little on the Instacart app because I do not like where this trend is going. Maybe in 2024, Instacart will only hire women. I don't know. Anyways, that is my video for today. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys on the next video.